Alright, got my hands on a brand new Xbox One from Microsoft. Today we're going to take it apart and show you how to fix the hard drive, CD drive, and everything else inside of it. To start taking it apart, you're going to start with this grill on the side, and you're going to take a little pry tool and slip it between the grill and the frame, and the grill just pops up and away from the Xbox. And then that leaves us with this little plastic piece that holds the two halves together. So you're going to slide that back and out, and it'll slide out. And then the sad part, we do have to remove the void sticker from the side of the Xbox. Then on the side right here, if you press your finger in, it releases one of the major clasps. And then you're going to have to take your pry tool and release all the rest of the clasps along the top of the ports and the little grill that's right there. This is my second time doing it, so it's a lot easier. Your first time, you'll have to sit there and pry at it for a second. Now you can take the top and lift it up, but be careful not to lift it too far because there's still a ribbon cable on the far side. That's pretty fragile. So how to get rid of this ribbon cable is you lift up the little blue extra tab on the side, and then you will be able to slide back a little plastic piece right here, which releases the whole ribbon cable. And then you are free to take the top off the Xbox. Here's a little speaker. There's a tab at the top that you press in, and the speaker lifts up and out away from the Xbox. And then the two little cables that clip onto the motherboard just lift up and out as well. Here is a little wire cable, and I'm not 100% sure what this goes to. It could be the Bluetooth, could be Wi-Fi, but there's two screws on it. And you undo those screws and lift it straight up and out, and it'll unclasp. Now here's some freakishly long screws that hold everything together. These are the green ones. The red ones are shorter screws around where the Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth slash circuit board thing was. And then once all the screws are out, the top metal piece lifts away. The little metal tabs are what hold the wire cable in place. So bend those back and then the wire cable will come away from the top metal piece. And this brings us to the good stuff. So we can see the hard drive and the CD drive right here. I'm going to lift it up and away from the bottom plastic first, since those freakishly long screws are not holding it together anymore. And so the CD drive, to get that out, I'm just taking out the little wires that hold it together. So I'm just going to wiggle them a little bit and then pull them straight back. And then this releases the CD drive. To remove the plastic bracket, it's just like giant clips. So you bend both sides out a little bit and the CD drive comes apart. And now I'm just going to clip it back into place. And so all the replacement parts you can find in the video description below. Amazon usually has pretty good deals on this stuff after a couple months after the release. So I will link those for you. Here is the hard drive. And I'm going to release it from the motherboard side of it, mostly because the connection to the actual hard drive itself is impossible to take apart until you release some screws, which I'll show you in a second. Now that the wires are unconnected from the motherboard, the four screws that hold the hard drive to the plastic piece are there. And now you can see the two little circles on the big connector that was holding the hard drive in. That was keeping it from moving. But now that it's not connected to the big plastic bracket, I can remove the large connector. And there's the hard drive. Once again, parts from the video description below. I'm not going to take apart the fan and the heat sink, mostly because I don't want to deal with the thermal paste holding the heat sink to the, to the motherboard. But you get the gist of how the Xbox works. Once again, all the parts are listed in the video description below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Make sure to like this video if it helped you, and don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you around. Thanks for watching.